guys welcome to or welcome back so on my channel i've tried this challenge a few ways i've attempted the full 24 hour straight of reading and failed three times succeeded one time but it made me realize i love my sleep badly also i suck at staying up so i saw this version of the challenge which was perfect for me because i have so much to do this week and i really want to do this challenge again i think they're fun so with that i decided to just read over the span of a few days until i hit the 24 hour mark so stay tuned to see how many books and what books i read for these 24 hours and how long it takes me to complete a full 24 hours of reading so it is time to start this 24 hour challenge it is currently 8 40 p.m i would have loved to do this early on but today has been very much like dreadful for me so we're gonna do a stopwatch instead of like you know a 24 hour like timer because i just feel like that's better to see how many hours that i'm getting at like i start with and get at i don't know if that makes sense um, I am like scared because this is my first time doing this version of the 24 hour challenge. I normally just do it straight. I We're gonna start this challenge off with Powerless by Elsie Silver. This is, <coughs> excuse me, this is one of my um, books for my July TBR and it is a romance. So I just thought maybe it's, you know, it's red flawless so this is the second book of the chestnut spring series um anyway you ready here you go I was so scared okay one two three start ah realize that i am reading the wrong book this is the third book and not the second book <laughs> i'm so mad i wanted to go find the audiobook on audible and it's like book three i'm like book three i thought this was book two i'm so dumb i am so dumb oh my god nobody told me nothing like y'all did not tell me anything I mean, I can still read it, right? I'm still gonna read it this month, but I think I have to read the second book. This, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. It's so hard because I wish they would like put one, two, like any other freaking series, but no, they don't. And that makes, I'm so mad and I already like,
already on page 60 and I just feel like I haven't laughed at a book in so long. Like, so like I forgot how fun like romance books sometimes are. Um, and like we're almost an hour in y'all. Like this is like such a fun book and I'm loving Willa. I think she's such a great character and the flow of the book is just really, really good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a break and then we're gonna start again. officially made it to the one hour mark can you guys see that i hope you guys can i am not at one hour and oh my god yeah okay one hour and 17 uh, minutes and i think i am doing really well i am now on page 89 which is really good compared to like <laughs> where i normally am but i am getting tired so i think i'm gonna stop and go to bed because it is 12 a.m. and I am not staying up. character in a book YG <laughs> I'm obsessed with this man I have a problem I need therapy ASAP <laughs> he has me kicking my feet and giggling my heart oh my god I can't I'm in shambles. This book is is going to. Oh my! Oh. But I don't know what to do, besties. This book is literally. It has been a chokehold. It has been a chokehold. Like, what? Oh my god, I haven't read a good romance book like this since the Dreamland Billionaire series. Like, are you kidding me? Might I say this just might be a five star read for me? A five star read. Oh my god. Ugh. way he 
he loves her without realizing he's falling in love with her i don't know if you guys get that like Cade, you could tell like obviously in his thoughts like that worry and willa doesn't know the way he describes her to the readers and just talks about her to us as the readers you could just tell how much he appreciates her and loves her Okay, I just finished Heartless by Elsie Silver and I finished it in three hours. <laughs> I was so happy. Like, I finished it less than the time I wanted to. I wanted to finish it in like four hours. I finished it at 3.54, which is literally amazing. I absolutely love this book. I ate it up. I'm so obsessed with Kate and Willa. It is a five star read for me. I just felt like the emotions that I got in the beginning was so amazing. Like right off the bat, I just knew I was gonna like love this couple. Um, Cause you know, you can call them a couple now. <laughs> um, I just love the way they bounce off each other and I just think they're perfect for one another. And I absolutely devoured it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a five star read for me. And honestly, that's a, saying a lot because the first book I think was like a four star or a three star. I don't, I can't recall, but this was perfect. And just uh, every time I think about it, I want to cry because it just reminds me like love like this exists. A love where the guy just loves everything about you do exist. And the next book is The Wern in the Holly Library. Just because I borrowed the audiobook from my Libby and I have like 21 days before it's like, you know, overdue. Why did I do that? Before it's overdue and I don't want to waste time and then have it to return and then when I want to read it, like I have to be on hold because I was on hold for this for like a week. So, yeah. It is currently 7.36 and I am on chapter 26 of the Wern in the Holly Library and we are 6 hours and 36 minutes into <laughs> this 24 hour challenge. I finished the Wern in the Holly Library yesterday um, night. Um, I rated it a three star just because like I just didn't like it. Like I was dreading to finish it. I didn't want to DNF it so I pulled through and shout out to the fact that I had the audiobook. That's what got me through this book. It's a dystopian but it's just not my cup of tea. Um, it's just everything that happened in the book. I just was not right. I wasn't vibing with it. That was our second book of this challenge and we are nine hours in To this 24 hour challenge. I'm so glad we're almost at like 10 hours. This backup is Powerless by Elsie Silver. This was the book I started with because I thought this was the second book in the Chestnut Spring series, but it's actually the third book, and then I put it on old to start um, Heartless. So I'm gonna read this one now.
powerless like right now and this was book three so book three is officially done and favorite i think heartless is better i rated it a four star just because i felt for jasper it, it did make me cry because i just understood him a lot and especially his anxiety as someone who has anxiety i understand like what was going through his head and all that stuff so he made me cry but i felt like the chemistry between him and salone i just didn't feel it like i felt the chemistry with kate and willa like kate and willa they were just so refreshing to read about them i just was not vibing with it like we didn't have chemistry <laughs> me and the characters did not have any chemistry but it was a great read it was a lot of lesson and it just like shed a light to trauma and mental health awareness so i really love that that is why i give it a four star but in terms of the connection between the two main characters just did not feel it you know what i mean but third book is officially done and i'm really really happy about it our next book of this challenge and i'm hoping not our last book because we still have 12 well no not 12 hours because we're only 10 minutes i mean 10 we're only 10 hours into it. I think I would say we have about... We're doing really great. I do think I can finish this challenge tomorrow. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I think I will hit the, you know, reading for 24 hours tomorrow. So that's amazing. But the next book is going to be These Violent Delights because I borrowed the audiobook from Libby. This is by Chloe Gong. I've had this for a while and I've been wanting to read it, but I was just waiting for the audiobook because I don't know. The the text is not my favorite. It's a little too tiny. So I feel like the audiobook is gonna help me get through it. But this is so cute. I didn't even see that. This is my first time seeing this. That's super cute. What? I love that. hours i've been reading for 13 hours and i have officially made it to the 200 page mark of this violet delights i don't think i've told you guys my thoughts yet um i don't know how i'm feeling about the book <laughs> like i don't know okay um i think it's okay it's not like you know it's not my fave you know but <laughs> we're getting there <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I finally finished these violet delights and we have officially hit the 16 hour mark so i think i have like about eight hours left to hit the 24 hour mark that i'm <laughs> trying so hard to get to but this is my this was my fourth book and honestly it wasn't i don't know i think heartless really <laughs> did a number on me it was so good that all the other books that i read after it just didn't live up to that expectations and that's kind of my fault i shouldn't be putting you know heartless expectations on them like heartless is different you know what i mean so i don't know like i just was not feeling it i wanted this to be over i read it at a three star it was okay but like it wasn't no last and final book of this video is going to be a thousand heartbeats by K kira chaos is that right um, I just thought maybe if I read another romance, maybe 
it will be a lot better. besties okay so it's the next day we have officially made it into the 20 hour mark meaning i only have four more hours left until i officially completed this challenge this is actually a fantasy i assumed it was a romance but it's actually a romanticy so or yeah right yeah a romanticy so i was very wrong it's not a romance it's a fantasy and i didn't know that until i started reading slash listening to the book and i'm like this is giving fantasy hi guys okay so yesterday i officially completed the full 24 hour like challenge so yeah um but we made it <laughs> and five books oh my god i still can't believe it like if you would have asked me how many books do you think I was going to read for this challenge, I would have told you maybe three. But five is crazy. We read five books in a span of two and a half days. Love that for me. But these are all the five books that I read. Let's go through them. Let's do an over review. Thousand Heartbeats by Kira Cass. This is actually a fantasy. I thought it was a romance. I was very much wrong. It is a fantasy. It was okay. I think it was a fun, like, romanticy. Um, but I just was, like, not... I don't know. Like, it just was not, like, my favorite fantasy, if you would ask me. I recommend it, yes. I think it's really fun. Like I said, it is 500 pages, so... I don't know why it's 500 pages. I didn't think we needed 500 pages of this. But it is 500 pages. But these violent delights, like... Koei Gong. I re also read this on a three star. This was also a fun read. So then we have Powerless by Elsie Silver. This was the third book of the Chestnut Spring series. And this one was a different vibe from the first and second book. This one did um, shed light to anxiety and mental health and you know trauma and I really did enjoy it. Um, I think it was fun, but I really just learned a lot from it more. I read it a four star. Then we have The Warren in the Holly Library by K. L. Lindy. This was actually a dystopian, and this was like the first dystopian that I have read in a while. Like, I feel like I haven't read a dystopian since the Shadow Me series. What I was expecting, because I thought it was a fantasy, but it was actually a dystopian. So I was like caught off guard. It was okay. I didn't really like... I read it a three star. I do think it has potential. Saving the best for last. Heartless by Elsie Super. Can you tell just from the smile, like my smile, the difference from all the other books and then this book? Every time I look at this book, I have this feeling of just love and warmth. The love I have for this book is unmatched. It kind of just reminds me of when I read um, the Dreamland Billionaire series and I really loved, I think the second book yeah the second book was really my favorite this book was just so good it had everything that i wanted in a romance book good i read it a five star and that concludes the five books i read in this version of the 24 hour challenge i had fun i hope you guys like this video um if you're new here and this is my first video you're watching and you like the vibes go ahead hit that subscribe button and join the family we have fun over here um thank you guys for your support and your love and i hope to see you in my next video bye